ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಇನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಆನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ that the jnana nishtha and karma nishtha they are of opposite nature see jnana nishtha is that wherein <coughs> inquiry discrimination between atma and atma that is taken and karma nishtha is according to the acceptance that i am a jeeva and the soul or the jeeva is in the present state because he has done good or bad karma and therefore to clean out the impact of this karma one has to keep on doing karma so once i have accepted that i am the doer then after that acceptance of the doership there is a different path and when i inquire as to kimichan kasya kamaya shariram anushanjware who is the doer and in this manner the bhagavad gita shastra <coughs> is talking about basically this issue this is what bhagwan shankar acharya says now out of this two whether this karma and jnana has to be followed in a sequence first karma purify become qualified and then take the path of knowledge or karma and the knowledge or jnanam should be practiced simultaneously so this is the issue and the third thing is the moksha <coughs> or the liberation that we are seeking is the result of karma or it is the result of knowledge these are the three main issues which are dealt with in bhagavad gita here and there so keeping this in view bhagwan shankara writes uh, an introduction to the third chapter now here also we will go it little faster because this topic is again and again raked and brought out ultimately it comes to the same thing ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಸ್ಯ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ವಿಷಯ ಭೂತೆ ದ್ವೇ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಭಗವತ ನಿರ್ದಿಷ್ಟೆ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯೆ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಯೋಗೆ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇತಿ ಚ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ಗೀತಾ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದ್ವೇ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಭಗವತ ನಿರ್ದಿಷ್ಟೆ ಸಿ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದೋ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಯೋಗ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಬುದ್ಧಿ and understanding with karma yoga buddhi karma yoga buddhi tatra prajahati yada kaman iti arabhya a adhyaya parisamapti he sankhya buddhya shritanam sanyasam kartavya mukta tesham tannishthataya cha eva cha krutharatata ukta esha brahmi stiti now out of these two paths which were told prajahati yada kaman starting from this verse up to the end bhagwan shri krishna has um, glorified and emphasized the importance of discrimination 
so then one is established in this brahmi sthiti by this word esha brahmi sthiti so the fulfillment of life is only by recognizing your own self and not by doing this or doing that now this thing you can see in this world the importance of this statement there are many people elderly people and when they are retired from the work life etc and they have never taken refuge in study of the scriptures or spiritual path you will see they become a problem for themselves and for others because they are unable to keep quiet and they have no ability to be contemplative no such people become a problem and if you go and ask them sincerely so they are very clear that till the last moment i had to keep doing something or the other this is what comes in the scriptures a marana paryantam up to the death we have to keep on doing the agni hotra agni hotra means karma so such people they are keeping themselves busy and if we ask them do you think that you have really achieved anything in this world so we come to know that any amount of karma karma we do there is no uh, fulfillment krutakrutyata through karma because karma is jada karma kim param karma tat jadam krutakrutyata can happen only through knowledge like you know this is a flower now the gain of the flower is through the gnanendriyas and not through the karmendriya so the gain upalabdhi is always through knowledge it is never through karma or action therefore here the teacher says uh sanyasam kartavyam uktva tesham tan nishthataya evam cha krutarthatha ukta now as regards arjuna was concerned अर्जुनाय कर्मण्ये वादिकारस्ते मा संगा अस्तु अकर्मणि इति कर्म एव कर्तव्यम उक्तवान योग बुद्धि आश्रित एंड एज रिगार्ड अर्जुन वॉज कंसर्न टू हिम स्पेसिफिकली भगवान टोल्ड दट ही शुड कीप हिमसेल्फ एंगेज इन द कर्तव्य कर्म दट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू न ततः एव श्रेय प्राप्ति उक्तवान <coughs> however by doing this karma it was not told that by doing the karma you will attain the immortality no it was never said only told arjun you have right only to do the karma now tad etad alaksha paryakuli bhutah buddhi arjun uvacha so when he saw these two things as regards the moksha liberation is concerned it is the brahmi sthiti the equanimity the understanding the knowledge that is the best and as regard i am concerned i am told that you should keep yourself busy in the karma and there is no even reference made that through the karma you will attain immortality and therefore he became extremely disgusted about himself and therefore arjun uvacha and then arjuna started the third chapter now here discussion begins katham bhaktaya shriyarthine yat saksha shreya sadhanam sankhya buddhi nishtham shravayitva maam karmani drushta aneka anatha yukte paramparyena api anan anekantika shreya prapti phale niyunjan iti yuktah paryakuli bhavah arjunasya arjuna had paryakuli bhav means uh, deep frustration in him you why i am told like this others are told that you do this thing but i am told like this thing why like that so he was so frustrated with his own affair so katham bhaktaya shreyarthreya saksha shreya sadhanam how come to the devotee that i am to that me who is shreyarthi who is seeking for the absolute good of my own being that we are saksha shreya sadhanam that which is the immediate direct means of attainment of the liberation sankhya buddhi nishtham shravitva having told the sankhya nishtha 
having told mam karmani and as regard i am concerned i am being engaged in the karma and what is the karma drushta aneka anartha yukte knowing very well then all the karmas are nothing but a series of all the miseries one after another and paramparjena api anaikantika shreya prapti phale he nivinjan and this karma even the, through even the minimum or the la, least possibility there is no attainment of shreyas through karma even in spite of this why katham mam nyunjat karmani why bhagwan is asking me to engage myself karma iti yuktah paryakuli bhavah arjunasya and therefore it is but natural that arjuna is so frustrated and he asks this question meaning arjuna has very clearly understood that there are two types of nishtha one is the sankhya nishtha where discrimination about everything and we come to the point of this discrimination one is <coughs> न जायते मृते वा विपश्चित नाम भूत्वा भविता वान भूय अजो निश्वतो यम पुराण एंड न हन्यते हन्यम शरीर सो हियर द एसेंशियल सेल्फ वॉज इंडिकेटेड इन डिस्टिंक्टली विदउट एनी डाउट वॉट्स एवर एंड एज रिगार्ड्स द डुअरशिप इज कंसर्न उभौत विजानीत नाम हंति न हरते देर फोर दिस वन हु इज थिंकिंग देन आई एम किलिंग समबडी एंड समबडी थिंक देन आई एम बींग किल्ड उभौत विजानीत बोथ ऑफ देम हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड बिकॉज आत्मतत्व इज नाइदर द डुअर नॉर एनी एक्शन फॉल्स ऑन दैट so this discrimination which was told according to the sankhya shastra this discrimination is so simple and so good then why bhagwan is asking me to get into karma now see <coughs> when we hear <coughs> we feel the discrimination is good and simple but when it comes to practicing in life <coughs> when it comes to practicing in life there we have definitely a sense of doership <clears throat> and because of this sense of doership there is always a load on our mind what is the load the load is the joy and arrogance because of the success and fear or frustration or guilt because of the failure these two things are certainly deposited on our mind and when this happens is one thing is very clear that we have the sense of doership now take this example when we are in the dream and in the dream we have killed somebody and our hands were totally soiled and then we heard that the police vehicle is coming and we are running and fell down and came out of this dream after that if i go to the police station and said sir i have killed so and so please uh take me into custody i surrender so the police fellow will ask whom did you kill i killed my wife oh ho oh. where when in the jungle but why did you go to jungle to kill her i do not know good which jungle that jungle where it is it is in the dream so what the police will come and tell us good but only thing you have come to a wrong place go to the mental hospital this is a police station meaning all your crimes all your good and bad actions and the doership associated with it is not transferred from the dream into the waking go one step further all our doership all our good or bad actions and their results 
are not transferred from the waker eye to the absolute eye. See? How simple it is. That is why one of the most important spiritual practices is to remain in the present and even two minutes before what we have done, if there is yasya nahaṁ kṛto bhāvaha buddhir yasya nalipyate he who doesn't have the sense of doership and he whose mind doesn't gather the precipitates of karma, then hatva pisa iman loka nahantira nivadyate. Then even if he kills the whole world, he is neither bound nor he is suffering. Why? Because the ego, the doership is not allowed to rise itself. Therefore, here this is very important factor to be understood. Sankhya Buddhi means this. If we are practicing Sankhya Buddhi, therefore always remember, the more we remain in the present, the more we are following Sankhya Shastra. Sankhya doesn't mean that what we are talking about, that Jiva is you know, separate and there are many Jivas and the Prakriti is separate. From Jiva to Jiva, the Prakriti is separate. You know, the basic difference between the Vedanta and the Sankhya is this. There are many Jivas according to Sankhya, there is no Jiva according to Vedanta. Then there are many Prakritis of each Jiva, because there is no Prakriti, there is no Jiva itself, there is no Prakriti. So, Prakriti is a Paramatma, Ishwarasya Prakriti. So, Tad anurupa hacha prashna jayasi iti chet ityadi. And therefore, Arjuna's question is according to this understanding alone that jayasi chet karmanaste mata buddhir janardana tat kim karmani gore maam niyo jayasi keshava. Now, <coughs> prashna apakarana vakyam cha bhagavata uktam yathokta vivaga vishaye shastre. And prashna apakarana vakyam. And for the removal of the doubt, alone is the reply given by Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Up to here is Bhagavan Sri uh, Shankara's commentary with the principle that has been expounded. Now from here onward, he takes the Purva Paksha. Probably these commentaries which are not available today, were available uh, during the time of Bhagavan Shankara, and he is referring some of them. Now, who has said what that is not mentioned, we are not studied also. And that is not our purpose. So, this point he brings out that there was a time when they were again and again insisting for the karma's jnana samuchaya. Karma's jnana samuchaya means what? do karma also and follow knowledge also. And what they mean by karma and knowledge following, be very attentive, this is a very subtle topic. See, doing karma and following knowledge means what? Accept yourself to be jiva also and accept yourself to be the absolute reality also. How it is possible? Either you accept yourself to be Jiva or accept yourself to be the absolute reality. When both the things are simultaneously uh, accepted so that an average is arrived at, this is not the way. This is the meaning. So, karma is jnana samuchya because karma is based on the foundation of Jiva Bhav. And jnana is on the foundation of the absolute reality. So, the absolute reality is possible to be reached if you give up the insistence that you are a jiva. And if you are a jiva, you will never, never be able to focus attention on the absolute. Because who is the jiva? He is constantly frustrated about papa punya, kimahagam papam karamiti, kimahagam. Why I have done this thing? Why I should not? All the time the same thing goes on and on and on. And therefore, keeping this in view, 
केचित तु अर्जुन से प्रश्नार्थम अन्यथा कल्पयित्वा तत् प्रतिकूलम भगवता हा प्रतिबचन वचनम वर्णयन्ती there are some commentators who say अर्जुन से प्रश्न अर्थम अन्यथा कल्पयित्वा they take out a totally different meaning from the question asked by Arjun. Arjuna's question is Jayasi Chetkar Manaste Mata Buddhir Janardana. Hey Janardana, if according to you the discrimination based on the Sankhya is superior, then the karma which is based on the Jiva Bhava, then why do you engage me into this terrible karma? So this is what was Arjuna's Prashna. But Bhagwan has not understood Arjuna's Prashna. And therefore Bhagwan has replied something different than what was asked by Arjun. You can see the audacity. So, Tat Pratikulam Bhagavataha Pratiwachanam Varnayanti. They say Bhagwan's answer was not according to the reply, according to the question. Yathacha Atmana संबंध ग्रंथे गीतार्थो निरूपिता तत् प्रतिकूलम जो इह पुनः प्रश्न प्रतिवचन यो हो अर्थम निरूपयन्ति एंड सिमिलरली व्हाट दे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस द भगवत गीता एज अ बुक वेयर कर्म एंड ज्ञान इज गोइंग साइमल्टेनियसली कर्म समुच्चय कर्म ज्ञान समुच्चय दिस इज व्हाट दे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस now in that introduction when they have already said that Bhagavad Gita is talking about Jnana Karma Samuchya, naturally they will try to establish that alone throughout Bhagavad Gita. And therefore they say Arjuna's question was not understood by Bhagavan Sri Krishna and therefore he separated it out. See how these things happen. Remember I told you the ignorant one or the deluded one or those who have got one-sided thinking, what they do, they first decide. After the decision is made, then they start thinking. For example, uh, somebody is, uh, you know, crying. And after looking at, once I saw one child, Nonsense, constantly crying, can, can, can. So we were in some camp and asked, giving this example. I said, there were three ladies. So we have asked this question to these three ladies. Why this child is crying? So, why the child is crying is replied according to the training given to the children, to the three ladies. One lady was a trained doctor other was a trained social worker and third was a mother, trained mother, three of them. So the doctor, when she sees the crying child, oh he must be having a stomach pain or he may be having the teething or he may be having something somewhere, therefore he is crying. Because doctors cannot think of health. Second thing, the mother, oh he must be hungry. Mothers cannot think anything else. Give something to eat. The third social worker, after looking at the child, started a big philosophy. And when you ask the child directly because he is available, replies, I am crying just for that. No reason. In the same manner, I have first trained myself that Jnana Karva Samuchaya is the way of life. And by that only the liberation is possible. Then I will try to fit my philosophy in Bhagavad Gita. See, if you see the commentary of Santa Naneshwar on Bhagavad Gita 6th chapter, there he has given the whole of Kundalini Yoga, complete. And here Kundalini Yoga is not mentioned. Only a passing reference is there. But because that was his path. So whenever we are obsessed with whatever knowledge we have, with that we try to fit in our scriptures. This is what ha happens. So, Yathacha Atmana Grantha Sambandhe, Atmana means one's own. Grantha Sambandhe, Sambandha Grantha Gita Artha Nirupitaha. 
तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे दिम सेल्फ आर डिसाइडेड व्हाट इज सेड इन भगवत गीता देन तत्प्रतिकूलम च इह पुनः एंड देयरफॉर व्हाट इज सेड इज कॉन्ट्ररी एंड देयरफॉर प्रश्न प्रति प्रतिवचन यो हो अर्थ निरूपयन्ति नाउ कथम तत्र संबंध ग्रंथे तावत सर्वेशाम आश्रम आश्रमीनाम ज्ञान कर्मणो हो समुच्चयो गीता शास्त्र निरूपितः अर्थ इति उक्तम so in the introduction they say for everybody sarvesham ashrama ashramiram for all the people jnana karmano ho samuchchayo the simultaneous performance of the karma and jnana gita shastra nirupitah artha iti uktam it is said then punah visheshitam cha yavat jeeva shruti choditane karmani parityajya kevala deva jnanaad moksha prapyate iti etad ekantena eva pratishiddham iti and therefore when it is said only by knowledge the liberation is attained is totally wrong and therefore they are telling by this ihatu ashrama vikalpa darshaitva yavat jeeva shruti chodinaram eva karmanam parityagah uktah and then they bring the principle of this varna ashrama vyavastha and then they are say that according to the ashrama so if you are in this 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 ashram then you have to continue doing the karma up to the end of the life and therefore only for the sanyasis you can say that karma tyag is possible but for others they have to keep on doing the karma along with jnanam tat katham idrusham viruddham artham ka artham arjunaya bruyan bhagwan shrota va katham viruddham artha avadhare and therefore how come bhagwan is telling the contrary statements of the principle that is expounded and how arjuna has accepted how the shrota va katham virudham artham avadhare this is also a question raised by bhagwan shankara how they are going in the wrong way now on this the purva pakshi ask a question तत्र एतस्याद गृहस्थानाम एव श्रौत कर्म परित्यागी न केवलातेव ज्ञानात मोक्षा प्रतिषिद्यते न तु आश्रमन आश्रमांतराणाम सो इफ वी टेक दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ हियर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज यू नो हेयर स्प्लिटिंग आर्ग्युमेंट सपोज इट इज सेड लाइक दैट सपोज इट इज मेंट लाइक दैट एंड अल्टीमेटली यू विल सी गो थ्रू दीज पेजेस विच विल नॉट गिव यू मच but only one thing we'll say that um puru pakshi is again and again emphasizing that jnana karma should be going together and this uttar pakshi is telling jnana karma cannot go together because they are meant for contrary foundations but when we are obsessed with something we do not agree and therefore here he comes to um do you want me to go through the whole thing read or we should end in the topic directly so like um on page 78 siddha tari sarva shrimanam sarva shraminam jnana karma yo ho samuchchayah therefore after giving his various kinds of imaginary argument va grahastha it is like this sanyasa it is like this then he comes to a conclusion therefore for every kind of person karma and jnana samuchchay should be practiced together it is proved so then the uttar pakshi says na muksho ho sarva karma sanyasa vidhanat no it is not acceptable because the one who is a seeker of the truth for them it is clearly mentioned in our scriptures sarva karma tyag when he has to give up all the activities of life and he gives a lot of quotations vithayata bhiksha charyam charanti the moment you have the dispassion about the worldly things take a kamandalu and keep walking meaning don't continue to work to earn the bread this is what is meant see uh, vairagya means what do not work to earn the bread that is mean, meaning of vairagya then uh, tasmat sanyasan sanyasam esham tapasam iti uh, itiriktam ahu and therefore it is said 
ईशाम ऑफ ऑल दिस संन्यास इज द हाइएस्ट तपस्या बिकॉज देअर यू लिव विदाउट द लोड ऑफ योग क्षेम न्यास एव इति आचरेत इन दी नारायणी उपनिषदे असो सेज नारसिंह उपनिषद दैट देअर ऑल्सो वन शुड फॉलो अटेंड दी संन्यास न कर्मणान प्रजया धनेन त्यागे ने के अमृतत्व मानसू दिस इज ऑल्सो अगेन एंड अगेन टेलिंग न कर्मणा इति एंड ब्रह्मचर्या एव प्रव्रजेत इत्यादि ज्या बालिक उपनिषद टेल्स दैट राईट फ्रॉम द चाइल्डहूड वन शुड गेट इन टू डायरेक्टली संन्यास बाय पासिंग द गृहस्थ एंड वान प्रस्थ एंड ऑल्सो बृहस्पति इति बृहस्पति अपि कचम प्रति कच वॉज टोल्ड बाय बृहस्पति जी त्यज धर्मम अधर्मम च उभे सत्यानृते तज उभे सत्यानृते त्यक्वा ये न त्यजसी तत्यज संसारमेव निस्सारम दृष्ट्वा सार दिदृक्षया प्रव्रजन्त कृत द्वोहा कृतो द्वाहा परम वैराग्यम आश्रिता फर्स्ट त्यज धर्मम अधर्मम च गेट आउट ऑफ धर्म एंड अधर्म बी व्हेरी अटेंड व्हाट इज मेन धर्म एंड अधर्म इज मेन ओनली व्हेन यू हैव एक्सेप्टेड युअर सेल्फ टू बी जीव सो त्यज धर्मम अधर्मम च मीन्स गिव अप द जीव भाव एंड उभे सत्यानृते तज त्यज देन ऑल्सो गिव अप दैट दिस इज रियालिटी एंड दैट इज इल्यूजन नो तो गिव अप सत्य असत्य हियर ऑल्सो द मीनिंग मीन्स सत्य असत्य मीन्स द ग्रॉस एंड द सटल सत्य असत्य मीन्स द कॉज एंड द इफेक्ट इफेक्ट इज कॉल्ड एज असत्य कॉज इज कॉल्ड एज असत्य एंड इफेक्ट इज कॉल्ड एज सत्य बिकॉज द कॉज इज रीच फ्रॉम द इफेक्ट दिस इज इन टू थ्री प्लेसेज इट कम्स न तत्सत न तत् असत उच्चते सो देअर द ट्रूथ इज बियॉन्ड द कॉज एंड द इफेक्ट सो सत्यानृते त्यज देन उभे सत्यानृते त्यक्वा दस वेन यू हैव गिव गॉन बियॉन्ड द जीव भाव एंड द कॉज एंड इफेक्ट देन हैविंग गिवन बोथ आज एम ये न त्यजसी त्यज तत्यज देन बाय दैट व्हाट यू हैव रिजेक्टेड I have rejected the whole thing by discrimination and understanding. Now give up that also. Meaning, do not have a personality built up out of understanding. See, this is what is called as liberation from I. So ye na tejasi tatya ja, and further samsara me vani saram drushtva saara drukshya. Therefore. Uh, having given up the um, um, understanding that the samsar is having in essence therefore nisaram drushtva sara didruksha having inquired and found out pravrajanti kruto dvaha so he akruto dvaha pravrajanti akruto dvaha without getting into the married life they param vairagya mahasitaha taking refuge in the absolute dispassion they get out and thus keep on the spiritual path of renunciation karmana badhyate jantuhu vidyaya ch vimukchate tasmat karmam na kurvanti yataha paradarshinah because of the karma the person is bound now here also again karma means what where there is a the doership then only karma is born if there is no doership there is no karma born and when there is no karma born there is no sin there is no merit and therefore here where it is said karmana madhyate jantuhu means what to carry the load of the doership and to accept the position of the jeeva bhav these are the two things which will keep us in relativity all that which keeps in us in relativity is the field of ignorance and samsara and therefore yataha karma na kurvanti and therefore the seeker of the truth do not get themselves engaged into karma meaning what they do not ever accept 
they are have done anything or they are doing anything then it is everything is happening with the foundation of devotion by god's will everything is happening with the foundation of discrimination in the area of prakriti prakrute kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvashah ahankar vimudhatma karta ham iti manyate so if you take the foundation of the prakriti sankhya shastra then all the karma go into the prakriti if you take the foundation of devotion then everything is happening according to his will so where is the question of i being born and therefore yataha karma na kurvanti iti shukanu shasanam this is said in the shanti uh, parva in the mahabharat ih api sarva karmani manasa sanyasi ityadi in the sixth chapter sarva karmani manasa sanyasya aste sukham vashi navadware pure dehi naiva kurvanna karayan this will be also said in bhagavad gita so mokshas mokshasya cha अकार्यवाद मुमुक्षो कर्म अनाथक्यम मोक्ष अकार्यवाद मोक्ष इज नॉट द इफेक्ट मोक्ष इफ इट इज इफेक्ट इफ इट इज क्रिएटेड एट द रिजल्ट ऑफ कर्म देन आफ्टर द फोर्स ऑफ कर्म डाइज अवे मोक्ष विल डाय इट इज समथिंग लाइक यू नो सपोज आई टेक ए स्टोन एंड थ्रो इट so as long as my power is associated with the stone till then that stone will go and when that energy the power which i have given to the stone is exhausted through the passage of distance then the stone will fall down see in the same manner if moksha is created by the force of action and when the force of action is over then the moksha will fall down and again will come to the relative existence and therefore moksha akaryatvan it is not the effect it is not the karya that means moksha or liberation is eternal reality we are never bound we were never bound we will never be bound this is the meaning therefore all the spiritual practices only recognizing this truth therefore in mandukya upanishad we'll come and see there where the teacher says na nirodho na cha utpatti na baddho na cha sadhakah na muktah na mumukshurvai ittesha paramarthata there is neither anybody who is bound anybody liberated anybody seeking or anybody is the seeker this is the ultimate absolute reality ittesha paramartha paramartha da absolute reality so from the absolute reality point of view there is no one in this world who is bound and therefore it is not the result of any karma now once this goes in our system systematically deeply what will happen all our sadhana will be erasing the doership in our life first second not connecting the earlier action with the present action and making a story out of it see what we do you know this is a good thought what we do when we talk to somebody is nothing but make a story out of the tit bits here and there how we make a story you know i was when we were small i was here and there and i did this thing that thing and this kind of problems came and then we moved then we migrated and this happened this thing happened and like this and then we have come here and now i am here and then so we have made a big story out of and that multi storied building is on our head and under that load of the multi storied building we are suffering as the ego a samsari this thought also i told you earlier also this is very good thought like out of the dream experiences we do not create a dream personality 
how can we create a waking personality from the waking experiences? Memories are there, like dreams we remember. We do remember dream. But after we remember the dream, we don't make a personality out of that. In the same manner, these waking experiences also we remember. That I have gone there, I have done this thing, I have fallen, I have got up. No, these are different experiences. It has nothing to do with me, the absolute, who was present in that experience and when the experience was over, I continue to be. That means that experience does not condition my existence. I am beyond that limited experience. Therefore, it is said here, Sarva Karmani Manasasanyasya Ityadi Mokshasya Akaritvan Mumukshoho Karma Anarthakyam. And therefore, for the seeker of the truth, karma is anartha, creator, anarthakyam. It has no meaning. Nityani pratyavaya parima parihaartam anushtiyani iti chet. And then, if one says again that the nitya karma should be performed for the removal of the uh, pratyavaya dosh. You know Pratyavaya Dosh means what? Pratyavaya Dosh means the sin of omission is called as Pratyavaya Dosh. What we are supposed to do, if we do not do that, then you get punishment. And if you do that, you don't get anything. So, in this manner, he raises a question. Nityavaya Pratyavaya, uh, Nityani Pratyavaya Parihararta Manushtiyani Tichet, no. O Sanyasi Vishayatvad Pratyavaya Praptehe. Pratyavaya is meant for the Grihasthas, not for the Sanyasi. Because the Sanyasi is the one who has already Sarva Karmani Manasa Sanyasya. He has no worship. <coughs> so therefore always remember one thing. Whenever we talk about karma, our understanding should be with the doership. And not the activities. Normally when we, uh, you know, in the popular worldly language, when we hear about karma, what we understand? <coughs> that he has done this work, he has done that work. That is not karma. Technically speaking, karma means the awakening of the doership. So anything which is associated with the doership, that thing is called as the karma. So, a sannyasi vishetvat pratyavaya praptehe na sambhavati. It is not possible. Because the sannyasi is the one, yasya nahankrato bhavaha, he who doesn't have the doership. Na, na hi agni karyat a karnat sannyasi naha pratyavaya ha kalpaitum shakyate shakyaha yatha brahmacharinam a sannyasi naam api karminam. Na hu is a sannyasi niragni hi. According to the technical definition, sannyasi is the one who is not uh, allowed to touch fire. Because Agni is the one which is the karma dhyaksha. Agni is the one who is the presiding of all the karma. And therefore, sannyasi is not allowed to do any Agni karya like <coughs> Agni hotra or offering into the um, what you call uh, fire or the jadnya that is not allowed for the uh, sannyasi. See what happened, you know, where it happened? Some place they were doing this uh, Gayatri Yagya and uh, I happened to be there. So this is Swami, you also come and do this. So I came and sat and did it. After that was over, <coughs> then we had a cup of tea and all that. Then they have raised a question. Swamiji, uh, when you t we told you, please do, you came and sat and did it. In the same manner, when we have told some other Swami, they gave me the name so and so. And um, he refused. He said, I will not do it. Do yourself. And we all people were waiting for him to come and then we started and he did like this thing and everybody was hurt. So, 
we were all afraid whether we should ask you or not so somebody said no 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 don't worry you tell swami ji swami ji knows everything so tell us how this is possible why you have done and why they have not done i said he has not done because according to the rules of the sanyasa ashram you are not supposed to touch fire so niragni they are called as and therefore they don't do therefore he must not have done then why you have done i said but you can do drama drama is allowed so you have done drama i said yes so how many i said yes this is also drama going on do you think i am very serious about what you are telling me so once you have rejected the doership no dharma no adharma can be manufactured no pap nor punya can be done no hell or heaven is your lot no achievement or failure will ever be associated with you this is the important thing to be understood therefore agni karyat karanad agni karyadi akarana sanyasinah pratyavaya kalpayitum shakyata na so also the brahmacharyana so those who are not doing this agni karya for them there cannot be any pratyavaya dosha which is meant for the grahastha etc नतावत नित्यानाम कर्मणाम अभावात एव भावरूपस्य प्रत्यवाय उत्पत्तिः उत्पत्तिः कल्पयितुं शक्या कथम असतः सज्जायत इति असतः सज्जन्म सज्जन्म असंभव श्रुतेः नाउ अनदर थिंग भगवान शंकर सेज लुक हियर नतावत नित्यानाम कर्मणाम अभावात व्हाट इज प्रत्यवाय प्रत्यवाय इज व्हेन यू डू नॉट डू एनीथिंग the sin of omission so he says when you have not done anything so without doing anything something which is created how it is possible so abhavat eva bhavarupasya pratyavayasya utpatti kalpayitum shakya how it is possible because katham asatah sajjayet how can from the non existent the existence will come this is how uh, sajjanma asambhav shrute he it is said that the pratyavaya dosha cannot be created out of the uh, pratyavaya dosh uh, no out of not doing the karma yadi vihitat karana idi vihita akaranat asambhavyam api pratyavayam bhuyad vedah tatha anarthakaro vedah apramanam idi yuktam syad and if you say that out of the non performance of the vihita karma the pratyavaya is created then we will have to say that the vedas are meant for creating problems how if you do karma there will be karma phala and karma vandan if you don't do karma pratyavaya dosha you will be miserable that means vedas are talking only making us miserable or what सो विहित कर्ण अकर्णयो दुखमात्र फलत्र फॉर विहित कर्म वेदर यू डू आर यू डोंट डू यू विल बी सफरिंग तथा च कारक शास्त्र न ज्ञापक अनुपन्ना कल्पित कल्पित सैद एंड देन वील से दास्त्र आज आर मेन्ट ओनली फॉर टेलिंग अस डू दिस एंड डोंट डू दिस ओनली द विधि निषेध युक्त शास्त्र विल बिकम बट इट इज नॉट सो and therefore nacha etad ishtam it is not so because shastras also reveal the truth so tatha cha karakam shastra na gnyapakam iti so we'll say the scriptures only are the rules of uh, you know the life and there is nothing beyond that that is spoken and this is not true because the scriptures alone reveal what the truth is तस्मा न संन्यासीना कर्मण कर्मा अतः ज्ञान कर्मणो समुच्चय अनुपत्ति एंड देर फोर फॉर द संन्यासी दोज यू आर गिवन अप ऑल द कर्म फॉर देम दिस टू थिंग्स कैन नॉट गो टूगेदर एंड दैट इज वाय जायसी चीत कर्मणस्ते मता बुद्धि अर्जुन से प्रश्न अनुपत्ति एंड देर फोर दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ अर्जुना विच यज आस वुड हैव बीन ए रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन 
एंड बट दिस वॉज नॉट ए रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन यदि ही भगवता द्वितीय अध्याय ज्ञान कर्म च समुच्चयन त्वया अनुष्ठेय मुक्त सैन तथा अर्जुन से प्रश्न अनुपन्न हैड भगवान श्री कृष्ण टोल्ड इन द सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट ज्ञान एंड कर्म शुड गो टूगेदर देन अर्जुन क्वेश्चन वुड है रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन बट इट इज नॉट रॉन्ग अर्जुन चे बुद्धि कर्मणि त्वया अनुष्ठेयी उक्त या कर्मण जायसे बुद्धि सा अभी उक्ता एव तत्म कर्मण घोरे मं निजेसे केशव इति प्रश्न न कथंजन उपपद्यते एंड सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वाज तत्म कर्मण घोरे मं निजेसे केशव दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो वुड हैव बीन मीनिंगलेस इफ अर्जुन हैज रॉन्गली अंडरस्टूड बट ही हैज एन देर फोर बुद्धि कर्मणी त्वया अनुष्ठे उक्त भगवान हैड भगवान टोल्ड अर्जुन यू हैव टू डू बोथ सांख्य एज वेल एज द नॉलेज सो देन दिस क्वेश्चन वुड हैव बीन रॉन्ग बट दिस वाज नेवर सेड बाय भगवान टू अर्जुन इट वाज वेरी क्लियरली टोल्ड कर्मण्य वाधिकार अस्ते एंड नॉट इन द सांख्य बुद्धि फर्दर न च अर्जुन से जायसे बुद्धि न अनुष्ठेया भगवता उक्त पूर्व कल्पयुक्त युक्त ये न जायसी चेत प्रश्न सैन एंड सिमिलरली इट वाज नॉट टोल्ड अर्जुन अर्जुन यू शुड नॉट फॉलो दि पाथ ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड इन्क्वायरी इट वाज नेवर सेड बाय भगवान दैट एट दिस स्टेज यू आर क्वालिफाइड फॉर कर्म बिकॉज यू हैव स्टिल लिंगरिंग इन यू द सेंस ऑफ डुअरशिप नाउ सी हाउ द सेंस ऑफ डुअरशिप भगवान विल बिंग इज दिस टॉपिक इन द थर्ड चैप्टर इट सेल वेन आई डू समथिंग इट इज अ कर्म नो आई विल नॉट डू एनीथिंग दैट इज ऑल्सो ए कर्म सी सो अर्जुन आज अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट वॉज that if he withdraws from the battlefield then he has liberated himself from the karma but that is not the right meaning of liberation from the karma because liberation from the karma is only liberation from the doership and the doership he was not attaining and to understand the doership you require first a purified heart and then only he will do it so till then karma neva adhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana this is how the whole topic is यदि पुनः एक पुरुष से ज्ञानकर्मण विरोधा युगपत अनुष्ठान संभवती न संभवती भिन्न पुरुष अनुष्ठेय भगवता पूर्व मुक्त सैन तथा अय प्रश्न अनुपन्न जायसे चेत इत्यादि नौ ईफ भगवान श्रीकृष्ण एक पुरुष से ज्ञानकर्ण कर्म विरोधा युगपत अनुष्ठान न संभवती See, when it is clearly told or understood by the Lord that jnana karma, yoga path, simultaneously cannot be practicable because virodha they are belonging into different areas. Karma is in the area of the ignorance, and jnana is in the area of the wisdom. So, anushtanam yoga path na sambhavati iti bhinna purusha anushtheyam bhagavata purva muktam syat had Bhagwan told. That these two things should be um, done together by the same person. Then Arjuna's question, "Tata ha ayam prashna ha upo panna ha." Then Arjuna, this question, question would have been meaningful. But Bhagwan has never told that simultaneously you have to do, and therefore Arjuna was telling out of the two, why don't you tell me only one? That means he has understood that these things cannot go simultaneously together. So out of the two, tell me only one, and therefore Arjuna has understood correctly. Bhagwan has replied correctly. Then third option, <laughs> you have not understood properly. This is how it is. So, nacha adnyana nimittam bhagavat prati prati vachanam kalpyam, and we cannot say. That Bhagwan Bhagwat Prati Vachanam, the statement of Bhagwan is born out of ignorance. We cannot say. So, tasma asmaccha bhinna purusha anushtheyatvam anushtheyatvena jnana karma nishtayo ho Bhagwata Prati Vachana darshanartha darshana jnana karma no ho samuchaya anubhavati hi. And therefore, Bhagwan will be telling subsequently that there are two types of. Nishtha that would have been wrong because 
भिन्न पुरुष अनुष्ठेयत्वे न ज्ञान कर्मण यो निष्ठ यो हो भगवता हा प्रतिवचन दर्शनात भगवान विल टेल दैट कर्म योगे न संख्या ना कर्म योगे न योगी नाम एंड ज्ञान योगे न संख्या नाम दिस वुड वुड हैव बीन नॉट देयर तस्माद केवना देव ज्ञानात मोक्ष इति एश अश्चय अर्थाह निश्चयो गीतासु सर्वोपनिषदसु च therefore conclusion is it is only by the knowledge alone that the liberation or the freedom is attained is thus concluded in bhagavad gita and in all the upanishad now here when this is said on the basis of this those who are following the path of karma bhakti and yoga they always condemn the vedantis and then they go on You know, remember when we went to that uh, you know kirtan? In that kirtan also, he brings out the same topic every time. Nyana, nyana, nyana. Nothing happens in nyana. It is actually the devotion, devotion, devotion. Now, nyana does not mean that you are only reading the books. Similarly, devotion also does not mean you take the ability and uh, hitting it. That is not also devotion. It's a noise. Similarly, only reading the books is not uh, knowledge. It is only the erudition. The path of knowledge means uh, recognition of the absolute being as one's own self. and thereafter functioning in this world from that standpoint that is called as knowledge but when you are you know in a particular position on a stage whatever you say is right that is the rule so you accept yes 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 but this is what is meant over here that is why you see wherever there is this kind of fighting going on devotees think that they are superior and gnanis think that they are superior that gnani who argues on devotion versus gnanam he is a gnani anne pakhandina sarve gnana vartasu durbalaha remember in sadajar bhagwan told pakhandina they are only pakhandi pakhandi means what those who are only making noise but no experience they are called as pakhandi so to say like bhagwan told arjuna that uh, pragnavadamsha bhashase you are talking like a wise man in the same manner a vedanti talking vedanta on the stage and afterwards all the time worried in the samsara is a pakhandi vedanti they are called as the lipstick vedantis on their lips vedanta is stuck therefore lipstick vedanta सो तस्मात केवला देव ज्ञाना मोक्ष अर्थ निश्चित गीतासु सर्वोपनिषद ज्ञानकर्मण एक वद निश्चित एक विषया एव प्रार्थना अनुपन्ना उभयो समुच्चय संभव हेड देर बीन ए पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस टू थिंग्स ज्ञान कर्म गोइंग टूगेदर देन अर्जुन क्वेश्चन ज्ञान कर्मण एक वद निश्चि Out of the two, kindly tell me one for certain, for my good. This ek vishaya prarthana anupapanna. Then this option asking between the two, tell for one. This would have been a wrong question. And Bhagwan also said, Guru karma yuva tasmatvam iti jnana nishtha asambhavam arjunasya avadharene na darshayanti darshayishati. And then Bhagwan very clearly tells Arjun. That nana nista asambhavam. It is not possible for Arjuna to follow the nana nista because he still have the sense of doership. And how uh, the teacher Bhagwan Krishna knew that he has the sense of doership because he is imagining that I will go away from the battle. So I will do or I will not do. कर्तृत्वाभिमान अकर्तृत्वाभिमान बोथ ऑफ देम फॉल इन द परव्यू ऑफ द कर्म सो कुरु कर्म इव तस्मात्व देर फोर यू शुड एंगेज युअर सेल्फ इन द कर्म दिस भगवान विल बी टेलिंग एंड दस दिस हैज टू बी क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड दैट द ज्ञान एंड द कर्म कैनॉट गो साइमल्टेनियसली सो 
we enter now Arjuna Uvacha Jaya Si Chet Karmanaste Mata Buddhir Janardana Tatkim Karmani Ghore Maam Niyo Jaya Si Keshava Jaya Si Shreya Si चेत यदि कर्मणा हा सकाशात ते तव मता अभिप्रेता बुद्धि ही ज्ञानम हे जनार्दन हे जनार्दन दिस जना मींस माया जनयति जनान इति जना माया यासा जना नाउ अर्दन द डिस्ट्रॉयर लाइक यू नो कालिया मर्दन Ardhana, Ardha Dhatu is for destruction. So, He Janardhana, He Krishna, who is the destroyer of the Maya, the delusion. Now, after having said this, Arjuna says, Te Mata, according to your opinion, Yadi, if Karmanaha Buddhi Jayasi Chet, if in comparison to karma, buddhi is superior for attainment of the absolute good, then yadi buddha, buddhi karmani samuchite ishte tada ekam shreyaha sadhanam iti karmano jayasi buddhi iti karmanaha atirikta karnam buddhihe anupapannam arjunenam kritam syad. Now had Bhagwan said, yadi buddhi karmani samuchite ishte had Bhagwan ever mentioned that the knowledge and the uh, karma should go together, then tada ekam shreya sadhanam iti karmano ho jayasi buddhi iti uh, karmanaha atirikta karnam buddhi anubapannam. Then this question would have been anubapannam is wrongly asked that between the two tell me one for certain. So Arjunena anubapannam kratam syat. But this has not happened. Similarly, Nahi tat eva tasmat phaladaha atiriktam syad and uh, there would never have been a meaning that phaladaha in comparison to the result, result of karma and result of knowledge. What is the result of karma? Samsaragati, punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam. And what is the result of the jnana, the liberation, the moksha? So, nahi tad eva, but it is not so, because phalataha atiriktam syat. Now see, if knowledge is taking you to moksha, the liberation, and karma is taking you to samsara, the relativity, how both of them can be simultaneously practiced? And therefore, it is not so. Tatha, Karmanaha shreya kari ukta buddhihi ashreyas karam cha karma kuru iti maam prajipade iti tat kim nu karanam iti bhagavataha upalambam iva kurvan tat kim kasmat karmani ghore kurure himsalakshane maam nyoje sikeshava iti yad aha tat cha na upapadyate and this also would have been not possible when Arjuna has upalambam Upalamban means a sarcastic statement. What he said? Karmanaha shreya kari ukta bhagavata buddhi. Bhagavan has said that the understanding is the one which will give you the ultimate reality. Ashreya sa karam cha karma. But the karma is the one which keeps you in the relative plane. In the samsara. Therefore, ashreya karam karma. Kuru iti. And that I should do. Maam pratipade iti. Bhagavan is telling me that knowledge will take you to liberation, karma will keep you into bondage and then Bhagavan is telling me that I should do the karma, kimnu, but why should it be like this? So kimnu karanam iti bhagavataha upalam man iva kurvan and therefore Bhagavan is being questioned by Arjuna, sarcastically sir, you tell that this is the best and this is not good. But as regard, I am concerned, you are straight away telling me, do this which is not good. 
and don't do that which is the best but why so and that too also if you ask me to do only karma i can understand but karmani ghore he adds one more word therefore krure himsa lakshane kim mam niyojesi why you are asking and emphasizing that i should keep me myself busy in doing more and more terrible karma yad aha tach na upapadyate this kind of question would not have been possible had bhagwan said that karma dhyan goes together and had bhagwan uh, arjun understood that bhagwan has told karma dhyan goes together but this was never said nor it is understood by arjuna therefore don't focus your imagination on bhagwan and arjuna atha स्मार्तेन एव कर्मणा समुच्चय सर्वेशां भगवता उक्ता अर्जुन चवधारिता चेत तत् किं कर्मणि घोरे मां नियोजसी इत्यादि कथम युक्त वचनम एनी वन इफ विद स्मार्त कर्म स्मार्त कर्म इज अ कर्म अकॉर्डिंग टू द धर्म सो इफ इवन विद दैट कर्म भगवान हैज मेन्शन दी ज्ञान कर्म समुच्चय देन ऑल्सो किं घोरे कर्मणि नियोजसी दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन वुड हैव बीन इन एप्रोप्रिएट and therefore any type of karma shrauta karma and smarta karma shrauta karma is where is jagya etc that we do smarta karma is what are our duties according to our position in life as a grahastha that falls in smarta karma so both type of karmas are not to be simultaneously practiced for knowledge to attain liberation this is concluded now arjuna's question continues in the second verse now before we go let us take the overall understanding of the first question jayasi chet karmanaste mata buddhir janardana tat kim karmani ghore mam niyoje sikeshava so from this we understand one basic principle which we all mistake that karma by itself is good or bad so he says किम घोरे कर्मणि माम नियोजय ऐसी दैट मीन्स इफ वी आर टोल्ड दैट यू शुड क्लीन द ऑल्टर एंड यू शुड चेंज द क्लोज ऑफ द लॉर्ड यू शुड गिव हिम नाइस डेकोरेशन फ्लावर्स एंड ऑल दैट देन दैट इज युअर कर्म एंड द सेकंड पर्सन इज गिवन अ कर्म यू शुड क्लीन द थिंग्स आउटसाइड एंड देन देर इज अ काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रगल गोइंग ऑन इन द माइंड्स See, I am given bad type of karma, jhadu wala, and he then then both are ubhuta unu vijani ta, both of them are understood nothing. Karma by itself is neither good nor bad. First principle. But here Arjuna had this funniness. That tatkim karma ni ghore maam. Why do you engage me into this terrible action? Himsa lakshanam, himsa lakshane krure karma ni. now the second one bhagwan has not engaged arjuna in karma isn't it it was arjuna's order that bhagwan was asked sena yor ubhayor madde ratham sthapaya me chuta bhagwan should have told arjuna this thing i think whether i brought you to the battlefield or you told me to bring you to the battlefield that kim karmane ghore maam yo je je ke see it is we do the thing and see bhagwan ne kiya inshallah what bhagwan ne kiya you have done everything don't blame the lord see how these are very subtle points and we miss them and we imagine we are really contemplative thinkers no so these two basic things one karma is good or bad one notion and second thing god is telling us to do something god has not told us to do anything in the fifth chapter bhagwan very clearly says na datte kasya chit papam na cha ivam sukrutam vibhu ajnane na avrutam jnanam te na mujyante jantavah so i am not interested in your merits i am not interested in your sin if you lead a meritorious life lead how does it matter no i will do sin continue doing don't threaten See? it is so important 
दैट कर्म इज नथिंग टू डू विद द परमात्मा एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अटेन वननेस विद दैट रियालिटी वी हैव टू गेट आउट ऑफ ऑल द रॉन्ग नोशन अबाउट कर्म नाउ द थर्ड थिंग वॉट एपन्स यू नो टू अवॉइड अवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी we find out some scapegoat who is blamed i have done it because of him or her no the moment you will blame others you have become extrovert and you are gone away from the spiritual path therefore when arjuna say tat kim karmani ghore maam niyoje se keshava as he bhagwan is telling him that you do this karma he is only correcting his understanding and that is why all that is required in our life is only one thing have correct understanding about ourselves have correct understanding about the world have correct understanding about the god and have correct understanding about relationship between jeeva jagat ishwara then we come to know this relativity is supported by the absolute truth which is not corrupted by any relative phenomena and that absolute reality is the real me in this manner when you focus attention on this absolute being and who can do this he who is no more under the influence and urgency of योग एंड क्षेम टू अचीव समथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड टू प्रोटेक्ट समथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड सो इच न उपपद्यते ना आफ्टर हैविंग सेट दिस इन द सेकंड वर्स ही कंटिन्यूज दिस क्वेश्चन फर्दर दैट विल टेक इन योर नेक्स्ट क्लास ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुभ्यो नम हरि ओं